Down the Road Show is a product of Murdoch Worldwide Entertainment. This is Down the Road Show. This is entertainment all up in your face. Okay, so let's start taking questions. On that note. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> Hi. We're live, hello. I can hear you. Okay. Uh, I'm Casey from Down the Road Show, and I like to ask all the guests on my show the same barrage of questions, real quick answers. Who's your favorite superhero? Who's your favorite villain? And as a publicly Takei man. <laughs> Good for you. Who's it's your okay to be Takei? Exactly. <laughs> Who is your personal hero in life? Who inspires you every day? My favorite superhero, which uh, I gather is from uh, the uh, comic uh, hero uh, realm is uh, Superman, uh, the classic. <laughs> and I my day. a wonderful collection of uh, Superman comic books that uh, from my boyhood. Uh, they, they weren't first editions or anything like that, but they were just, you know, one uh, uh, comic books that I enjoyed that I collected. But when I went off to college uh, and came back uh, on uh, summer uh, holiday, my, I discovered that my mother had given it to the uh, trash man because, you know, it was an uh, old newspaper that, <laughs> that was there. It was heartbreaking. So uh, that was um, my uh, 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 college year dis uh, disappointment about uh, superheroes. Uh, my favorite villain? Uh, I don't know whether I have a favorite villain or not. <laughs> no, he's not that bigger than life. <laughs> uh, he's, he's still human. Uh, let me give some thought to that. <laughs> my hero, my personal hero, is uh, my father. Because um, I really think I had a very special man for my father. Um, my father was certainly of his generation, you know, uh, a Japanese American of that generation. And to um, be broad-minded enough to, uh, he wanted me to be an architect. Uh, and so like a good son, I started studying um, architecture at Berkeley. But after two and, uh, two and a half years there, I just couldn't, uh, you know, my, the, the, the theater and acting fire was in my belly. And the more I got closer to uh, that decision point where my career commitment would be uh, as an architect, I, I didn't want to give up that opportunity to give myself that chance to uh, test my wings. And so I uh, came back to Los Angeles and uh, I said to my father, I want to go to the actor's studio, Daddy, and uh, study where all the great ones came from, Marlon Brando, Montgomery Clift, James Dean, and uh, he said he knew this discussion would be coming up eventually. And um, he, uh, he was prepared for a uh, deal for me. He said, uh, you want to go to actor studio, that's a fine acting school, but when you finish there, they won't give you a diploma that says you're a legitimately educated person. He said, here in town in Los Angeles, there is a fine theater arts department at UCLA. And when you finish there, they will give you that piece of parchment, that documentation. But you're a bullheaded kid, and I know you're going to insist on going to New York. So let me remind you, New York is a crowded place, a very competitive, competitive place, and a very expensive place. And you have to be prepared to do it all on your own. But if you go to UCLA, and that's where your mother and I want you to go, then we will subsidize you. So you decide, New York on your own or UCLA with subsidy. I discovered I was a practical kid. <laughs> I went with a subsidy. But you know, few fathers of that generation would uh, have that kind of open mind and uh, willingness to support 
my, what I really wanted to do because he knew who, he, who I was. He knew that he was saddled with a ham and, uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, he had to make that compromise on his part. And so I'm eternally grateful for that. But even more than that, you know, I spent four years of my uh, childhood in two barbed wire internment camps, a US, uh, two US internment camps, one in the swamps of Arkansas and another on the uh, uh, Northern California border between uh, Oregon and California. And many people of my father's generation were very embittered by that experience, you know, because we were innocent. We had done nothing wrong. We were just, you know, people who looked like the people who bombed Pearl Harbor. And because of that, the, this government did one of the most egregious things, uh, a violation of our Constitution. There were no charges. There were no trials. Simply because we looked like this, they rounded us up and put us in, into these barbed wire prison camps. And, and my father was one of the few, when, when I became a teenager, I asked him a lot of questions about that. And he said, despite all his experiences uh, and the loss and the pain that he uh, went through, he said, both the strength and the weakness of American democracy is in the fact that it's a true people's democracy. And it can be as great as a people can be, but it's also as fallible as people are. And that's why good people have to be actively engaged in the political process, holding the ideals of this government, you know, to the fire uh, and, and make this a better country. Well, thank you for that for, on behalf of my father. He was a wonderful man, and in many ways, I think he was a great man. And because of his good guidance, you know, I am active in the political arena as he uh, uh, guide, guided us to be. Both my brother and I, my father encouraged us to be active in student government as well. And we were both student body presidents, and uh, I am still actively engaged in the political arena in large part because it's a tribute to my father and his belief in American democracy. Thank you. I think we're all happy you guys compromised. Thank you. Rampage Fitness Academy is located at 23681 Via Linda Suite A in Mission Viejo, California, 92691. Call them at 949-830-7267. Cardio kickboxing, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Mai Tai, regular boxing, yoga, or women's classes only. Rampage Fitness Academy has it all. Check them out at rampagefitnessacademy.com.